Hi there everybody, um, in this video I have this um, Honda Insight, this is a 2010 and I'm going to be changing the oil and the oil filter, also topping up the screen wash fluid and checking the coolant. Um, as always I'm going to start by topping up the screen wash fluid and that goes in that container there. There is some in it, but it needs topping up. And that's it. Uh, you can buy that uh, liquid from any garage or petrol station, already mixed, or the concentrated version. Probably the mixed one is is uh, better. You can just pour it in. Um, I obviously I just mix lots of bottles, so I have them already mixed. Okay, so I'm going to move on to checking the coolant level and also the percentage of antifreeze. Um, this is the expansion tank here. And uh, to check the percentage of antifreeze I'm going to be using this little gadget here. Maybe there is more, more than ones out there, but this one still works okay. And um, to check the level we really ought to see the tank from the side, from from this end. We're gonna see two lines. I'm just going to take a camera. And see if I can show you the two lines and they also have uh, some letters there so we have uh, that line there you can see the coolant is up to that line and you can also just see the little letters there it says um, max and then the other line is further down at the bottom and that would be the minimum um, so we have those two those two lines basically that define so if you coolant this coolant is a little bit lower than the than the max if you can just see it there just a little bit lower, it's nothing uh, to be concerned about. Um, so, let's try to get the right angle there. Let's see if we can come. There it is, just this is max. So, that is that line there and then the minimum will be the one below and that's how you can check your coolant obviously if that was also if you flash the light um, you can see the, the fluid which is uh, blue in this case and you can see it to be in the right in the right place if you didn't see any any fluid or somebody filled it up with water then that will just look clear and then you may need to consider whether you need to fill it up or add some uh, coolant and, and also check for any leaks 
I'm just gonna take that off and I'm going to use this to get some coolant in there and then that is gonna give us a percentage of antifreeze and it's reading about minus 28 or so So I'm happy with that. The level is good and the percentage of antifreeze is good. And the coolant is also very um, nice and clean. Which is the other thing to check for. If that coolant wasn't clear, if it was dirty, if it was looking brown, um, then we need to think of maybe having a changing, changing it really. Um, Technically, you should change it every two years, according to many manufacturers. I know many people don't, so so with time, it collects corrosion from uh, obviously the radiator and other metal pipes, and it can become a little bit brown. But um, this is why we need the antifreeze, because it protects. It also protects the the engine and everything else from from rusting away. So as opposed to just having water. Okay, so now we're going to move on the to do the oil and the oil filter. So for that I'm gonna I'm just gonna pull the dipstick open and I'm also going to open the oil filler cap. I'm just gonna leave it there sitting like that and also just leave that there. Um, if you take, if you remove the oil filler cup altogether, just make sure you cover the hole with something. Especially if you're working outside, you don't want anything going in there, any leaves, any anything going in there. So just keep it uh, close. Um, now I'm gonna get the car up, and we can drain the oil and change the oil filter, which is sitting underneath. Also, if you look at your manual for engine oil, so it says uh, engine oil change including the filter 3.6 liters without the filter 3.4 liters. So I'm changing the filter so I'll be using 3.6 liters to refill this engine and uh, the viscosity you, you need to look there's another chart stating the viscosity um, but I'm gonna be using 5W30 so the little chart shows you temperatures basically uh, depending where you live and uh, that's how you can choose the viscosity of your, uh, for your car depending on what country you are Oil change one, three, four, eight. Okay. So we have uh, this here's a viscosity chart and possibly the recommended oils 0 W20, 0 W30, 5 W30. They can cover this range basically between uh, minus 30 and 40. So that's what it says here. You can select the proper SAE viscosity oil for your vehicle according to this chart so I'm doing the 5w30 one we, we don't really get minus 30 degrees here in London and hopefully we won't otherwise we will freeze to death maybe in the future I don't know um, 
the filter I'll be using is this one here, Blueprint. That's the part number ADH22114. And this is the uh, tool I'm going to use to remove it. This is uh, the size of this tool is uh, 6514. 6514 is what it says inside of this that sits on there for removing the tool but for fitting it we just fit it by hand, hand tight okay so let's go get on with it and just uh, get the car up so looking at the car from underneath we just need to remove this cover to get access to the sump and the oil filter so just some Phillips screws Okay, so just inspecting a little bit, but um, the filter so the filter is sitting here, and the sun plug bolt is just sitting there. So get yourself a, a container, catch the oil, and then uh, we're gonna use a 17 mil. crack that open and just remember if the oil if the car's been running that oil might be very hot so. okay we can let that drain five ten minutes or so in the meantime we can also remove the filter and again make sure your oil pan is under the filter too because some oil will come out of there. It shouldn't be that tight at all. So just cleaning a little bit the uh, the area where the filter sits. Sometimes uh, some bits of oil, burnt oil or whatever accumulate around and uh, then your filter can can leak a little bit. So just give it a clean and then uh, we can refit, I mean we can refit the new filter. I've got the filter here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, grease, just multi-purpose grease. You can use a little bit of oil from the same oil you're going to put in the car, put it around. Um, this is what I do anyway. I know many people maybe don't do it. It's just a personal choice. Um, I just think I just think it makes the little O-ring um, slide nicely when you're closing these and without causing any damage so that's my theory anyway and I think many people's theory as well but then there's always other people that think differently so just hand tight Now I'm just using some to clean the oil that leaked from there. Better to leave it all nice and clean and if you have any, any oil leaks or anything then you can monitor it uh, a bit easier.
So I'm also gonna close the sun plug before I put the sun plug uh, back in. Um, just inspecting the the washer here, and it has been squashed a little bit. It's a little bit difficult to remove it. So I'm just uh, trying to do it like like this, basically. If you get stuck. And maybe this gives you an idea of how to remove it, but this is how I'm doing it. Because it's a bit hard to do it by hand, so I need to use the tools, basically. Right, let's get that washer out. So it's pretty squashed up. Um, if I reuse that, it's a possibility that a little bit of oil may leak. So I just want to avoid that. And obviously if you're stuck, you can reuse the, the washer. But the next time you, you probably have to change it anyway. Okay, so I've got a new washer. It's a copper washer. Can fit that on there. Again, just clean the area a little bit, uh, make sure you haven't got any drops, and obviously, after we top up the oil and um, and we run the engine, we can have a quick look at that. If there's any drips, you can you can tighten this bolt a little bit more, but I, I do it very lightly. It doesn't need over tightening. Plus this um, here, it's, uh, it's quite delicate, so you don't want to over tighten that at all. Just close it, give it a little bit of force, and that should be it really. The uh, copper washer gets a little bit squashed and makes a seal. Um, so now we can uh, refit the cover down here. Okie dokie, now let's lower the car and top up some oil. Okay, we're gonna be topping up some, more, some uh, oil now. So using a uh, Castro 5W30 as mentioned before and uh, 3.6 liters. Okay, 3.6 liters. And uh, we can check the dipstick here. The dipstick has got two little dots, so that would be the minimum and that would be the maximum. We want to be at the maximum. And if I check the oil right now, it might be showing a little bit above the max. And that's because uh, once we run the engine, some of that oil will go into the oil filter housing and will stay there. So that will bring the quantities to the correct level. So I can see it's, like I said, just above. I don't know if that's visible or not, but it's just above the maximum dot there. And uh, well, that's pretty much it. So I hope this video helps. And thanks for watching.